Hello and welcome to Dreambox. I'm going to show you today how to set up for math expressions and then how to add an assignment. The first thing you're going to want to do is get into Dreambox and then click on this settings button. When you're in the settings button, you're going to want to click on class settings. And then you are going to want to scroll down to where it says print program. In print program, it's going to give you a whole list of different options. You're going to want to select the option of math expressions. After you select that math expressions, you're going to want to hit this update button. I have already done this, so mine does not need updating any longer, but you're going to want to push that as soon as you are done. If you're teaching more than one math class, you're going to want to toggle between the ones that you are teaching and make sure that you select that math expressions for both and hit that update button for both. Once you do that, you're all set to go. Math expressions will now be part of our assignments. So you're going to want to hit that home button. To add an assignment, you're going to press the add assignment button. And now you'll notice that across the top here, you have the option of math expressions. Click on that math expressions and it allows you to pick some different topics. You can choose short term or long term assignment based on how long you want the students to work on this skill. Um, read these descriptions over on the side if you're not sure which one to pick. I typically pick the short one, the um, they receive one to two personalized lessons, but it is your preference. You select on your grade. You select on which unit you want. And then you can be very specific within the unit of the skill, or you can just go as simple as saying the big idea. So for each unit, there are those big ideas. Here's big idea one. Further down, we've got big idea two in this unit, and we have a big idea three. Each student can only have two lessons assigned at a time. So if I click on this, all my students in my course will um, pop up and it shows me where they're at. So as of right now, none of them are showing proficient yet, which makes sense. Um, you would then click on any student. If they already have two of these calendars, two of these calendars with stars on it. That means you already have two assignments assigned to them and they cannot be assigned anymore until they complete them. From the student side, when they log in, if there is a little calendar on any of the assignments, those are the ones they should be clicking on because those are the assignments that have come from you, the teacher. All the other ones are more personalized based on where they are as a student. Good luck.